Hi everyone, Melissa here. So today in my Facebook group, um, I had a group member actually ask me if I could try and recreate this 3D French look that is often done with acrylic and gels. Um, this group member, her name is April Strong. She asked if I could try and figure out a way to recreate this look with dip powder. And I've been wanting to do a, just a traditional French video for a while now and I figure, hey, why not put this spin on it? Plus it looked really cool. So I'm excited to actually wear this. I know I said I was gonna be doing one video a week while I'm preparing for my move, but I really wanted to do this design. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into how I would execute it with dip powder. Okay, so for this design, um, what you're gonna wanna do or what I prefer to do is to First, find a nude that goes well with your skin tone. For me, it is, um, it's sold by Revel. It is a nice uh, neutral kind of peachy nude tone. It matches me really well. And then you're going to want a white. Right now, the only white I have is Casper, the friendly glow. So yes, these are going to be glow French. And I'm actually going to be using just a little bit of Perlfect just because this white is very opaque and I want to make sure that I get the tips nice and opaque. So I'll be doing one dip of this and then the rest of this. So once you have your colors picked out, then you're going to want to figure out exactly where your smile line is going to be on the nail. Um, I'm going to be using a just a micron pen to do that. Um, I kind of want to do a bit of a longer, more curved smile line. So I'm going to find where the center is here. The nail. And then I want where I want the smile line to end on the nail. Make sure it's matched and even on both sides. And then I'm just going to make like a gentle curve here. Okay, and I'm gonna do that on all of the nails. Okay, once you have kind of a rough shape uh, cut out of, or drawn out, sorry, of where you kind of want your smile line to be, then you can start putting down powder. So I'm gonna be starting with my nude. I'm gonna have it set up to pour over, so we're gonna be pouring over the nail, over the cap, so you can just pour right over. I'm gonna be using my 10x Tina base because uh, I love this the small brush for color blocking. It lets me get into really precise areas, especially when you're freehand color blocking. And I'm just going to apply the base here and try and get it within that smile line area. And it doesn't have to be perfect because there will be cleanup that happens after to straighten that out. but try and get it as precise as possible. All right, I'm gonna go around and do that on all of the nails. And I'm gonna do a couple more layers on each nail. I wanna build up um, a good little bit because we're gonna do a bit of a 3D effect here, so we want there to be a ridge. So we'll do enough to build that up. Okay, first I'm just gonna grab my um, scraper edge of my cuticle pusher. Oop, don't wanna push it too much. I'm trying to just kind of like push it a little bit so it's kind of sort of like a wall. I don't know if that makes sense. So that there's a, a flat edge here. It's not gonna push a lot, but anything else. Okay, now I'm gonna activate these so that the, this layer gets all nice and hardened. Okay, once that activator is dry in your dip, you can take a small file. I'm gonna take this little um, file, just pretty much anything that can get into this little tight space and we'll 
um, be able to file that. So I'm just filing along the edge here to kind of straighten out and flatten the edge of the nude color as much as possible. It's not as thick as when they do with the acrylic or the gel way, but it's still gonna give the same effect in the end. You can use this time while you're filing to try and make sure that your smile line is even and, and as symmetrical as possible. It's a little difficult because you can't really you know, see it very well, but you can get a pretty good idea. Okay, now, the moment of truth, I guess. It's where you can really see how straight you've managed to file all of this. Um, I'm going to be using a black micron pen for this part. You can use probably black acrylic paint. You can use black gel polish. Um, but this seems to be the easiest way that I could think of to do this, but we're just going to go along kind of that uh, wall that we created. It's not really a wall, it's kind of, uh, it's pretty small, but it exists. And we're going to draw a black line along it, making sure that the black goes all the way up to the top. Um, if it goes too high up, that's okay. Anything that is too high will get filed off when we file the nails down. You want to make sure that it covers all the way up so that it can be seen after you file down. Okay, and then I'm also going to color some a little ways up the nail. Okay, now we have all of the black down. This looks crazy right now, but it's gonna be fine. Everything will be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do a layer of Pearl Fict first. Like I said, I want the tips to not have any see-through spots or milky looking spots, and Pearl Fict gives a nice coverage in one coat. So I'm gonna do my first coat of white with Pearl Fict. And we're just going to apply to the rest of the nail that we didn't apply to before, just as though we're finishing a freehand color block like normal. All right, I'm going to do a couple more coats with this white just until the white is about the same um, height or thickness as the nude is. All right, once you're satisfied that the layers are built up pretty level, you can go ahead and activate and then we will get these bad boys filed down and looking a little less crazy, hopefully. Okay, now they're all filed and buffed smooth, so I'm just going to activate and top coat, and we're done. Okay, and there is the finished product. Thank you so much, April, for the request. I had a lot of fun doing these. Um, it was a really fun technique to 
do. Um, if uh, anybody else has any requests or things they'd like me to try out, feel free to join my Facebook group. I do have that linked below in the description. Um, everyone else, feel free to let me know what you think, if you would have added anything or done anything differently. And I will see you next time.